Hey everybody, it's Randy here and got a phonograph that uh, actually I had somebody that was supposed to buy this and apparently the guy was uh, looking for restored for thrift store prices. <laughs> he doesn't even realize that the idler wheel alone goes for like, you know, $35, give or take. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, this, this, the stereo has been totally refurbished and I'm putting it up for sale on here first. And if nobody's interested then I'm going to eBay with it, cause it's worth the money that I'm asking for. If you buy it on here, uh, through YouTube, I could do 165, but if it goes to eBay, I'm going to be requesting more because of course I have to pay eBay fees and shipping fees and PayPal fees and all the rest of the crap that goes along with that. But if you buy it through me uh, on here through uh, through YouTube, I could do it for 165. Now uh, the things that have been replaced on this, uh, the first off, the stereo speakers, they were shot. Uh, you know, they were they were the old paper variety, and they just kind of were crumbling. Um, so I turned around and replaced them. Actually, I put automotive speakers into the cabinets. Uh, so they're full range. They have tweeters and, you know, little kind of, kind of subwoofer things. And so they sound a lot better. The amplifier, it was a joke. It was this little two tube amp, one tube per channel needed a three volt cartridge to drive them and it just wasn't worth ha doing the hassle over. So I had a friend of mine who was parting out an old Magnavox console with a solid state amplifier, which he in turn put into, he did a good job. It's under hidden underneath the record changer. He did a pretty good job on this. And so he changed the tube amp out to this solid state one. So it has a lot more balls than it used to. Plus it's also rather than just have a tone control, it's got treble and bass. And let's see what else. Of course, I replaced the cartridge and stylus in it. So those have been replaced. Uh, like I said, the idler wheel has been replaced. The whole thing was torn down, relubricated, and everything, including the main bearing for the for the platter and uh, the entire motor was torn down and relubricated also. So uh, yeah, this stereo is definitely worth 160 bucks. I love these guys to come along and try to get you for bargain basement prices. You know what? If you want to spend 40 bucks, go to eBay and buy some turd that needs rebuilt. It's as simple as that. But don't uh, don't to hit people up like me that have already done all the work. The $165 is what I actually have into the unit. That does not include any labor at all. $165 bucks is I figured it out by the time I bought the actual original stereo to keep it out of the landfill and restored it and put the, you know, the speakers and all that stuff alone. I have $165 bucks tied up into it, and you want it for $40. Bucks. Dream on. So uh, with that, if you're interested in contacting me, you can contact me at uh, BigRedneckBear at Yahoo.com. That's my email address. That's BigRedneckBear at Yahoo.com. And in this video, I'm using the original videos that I shot to show you that it works with 78s, LPs, 45s. That video was just done just a few weeks ago, tops. And uh, also in that video, I'm going to do a little slideshow presentation at the end, like I usually do, where you will actually be able to see um, pictures of the unit. Because in the video, all you're going to see is the record changer itself in operation. So you're not seeing the entire unit itself. The entire unit is uh, way, just way too big to get included into the video. So with that, I'm just going to do some still shots of the thing at the end. So uh, with that said, I uh, hope you enjoy the video and hopefully uh, this will find a new home because I'm running out of room here. Anyway, with that, I hope you have a great Christmas. This is Randy, and I'll see you later. Bye. Now that we're through